Frictional force. Friction is uh, the force that resists motion when the surface of one object comes in contact with another object. The mechanical advantage of machine is reduced by friction, or in other words, like uh, the ratio of input to output is reduced because of the friction. An automobile uses one quarter of its energy to limit the f limit its friction. It is also the friction in the tires that allows the car to stay on the road, and uh, the friction is in the clutch that makes it possible to drive from matches to machines to molecular structural friction is one of the most significant phenomena in the physical world. A frictional force refer to a force that generated by two surfaces that they are in contact or they are sliding against each other. And there are different types of friction force. The friction that takes place between solid surfaces is classified as a static, static friction, kinematic friction, rolling friction and sliding friction. The friction that takes place between uh, fluids in glass are termed as a fluid friction. So in this video we're gonna go through so that, with some example for the f uh, frictional force. So suppose we have a block of wood here with a mass of 2 kilograms and uh, with the mass of 2 kilograms, so the coefficient of the friction for this uh, block of wood is 0 0.5 and a force that acting on this block of wood is uh, 0 .0 0 0.5 it's also like a 0 0.8 0 0.8 newtons so we know that when the uh, force is acting on, a, on this object so the the frictional force would be acting in the opposite direction of the force. It, this would be some in this direction. So how are we gonna find this? We have the formula for uh, finding force friction is a uh, force friction equals to mu. It means the coefficient of the friction times normal force. So if we see the formula, we have the so the um, uh, coefficient of the uh, friction is given us is 0 0.5 and we don't have the normal force so the how to how so we're gonna find the normal force so norm not uh, so for finding the normal force is something like a mass times mass times gravity is to find it's the formula for finding the normal force so we're gonna put together all the things we got like a force frictional force equal to the coefficient of the friction is 0 0.5 0 0.5 it's times so the mass we got 2 kilogram times it's a uh, 9.81 and we're gonna multiply all these things together so when we multiply it's a uh, frictional force equal to 0 0.5 and uh, 2 times 9.9 9.81 .9, Eight one is nineteen nineteen point six two. So when we gonna go through some like uh, frictional forces, the final our final answer is and our final answer is nine point eight one. So this is the frictional force for this uh, for this example for this problem, and this is the final answer for this one. In this video, we're gonna talk about uh, average frictional force. So for this, we suppose we have a we have a car here. We have a car with mass of 400 kilograms, and it's uh, and it's going in this direction. And and the initial speed is uh, 10, and it's uh, after traveling 20 units, it will be in the rest position. When it's in the rest position, we know that it will uh, the final speed would be zero it means the final speed would be zero and the initial speed is 10 so so for this we know that there is only one force would be acting here that would be uh, the frictional force so for the, to find the frictional force we'll use the work energy theorem it means that all the work done is equal to change in kinetic energy kinetic energy so 
so now we will uh, so the, so so to find the forces that are acting here is only it, the forces the only force that acting here is the frictional force. So to find that is something we will do. The work is equal to force times the distance times cosine of theta. So so the force we have uh, so the force we don't have the force we will find suppose it's a frictional force and the distance we have it's 20 and the cosine of theta we also have that so we will uh, instead of dub instead of work we will we will put this one here like a force times the displacement time cosine of theta equal to change in change in kinetic energy so so the force we don't have the force we will write the force here so the the displacement is 20 and the cosine of theta we have like a so it's a it's in the in the x it's it, it's going in the it's in the x-axis and the x-axis is the angle between the core and the x-axis is uh, 180 the 180 cosine of 180 is minus 1 we will uh, it's it would be times minus one and the uh, delta so the change in kinetic energy is something like uh, we will put half m half a uh, final velocity squared minus one half uh, mass times uh, initial our initial uh, speed so now we are gonna go like a so we will multiply all these things so minus would when we multiply all these is minus 20 f it means as and then uh, when here so in the final of speed is this zero when we put the zero it will cancel out all of these things and we will put here one half minus one minus half mass so the core so the mass of the core is 400 400 and times initial speed initial speed was 10 and it's squared so now we will uh, divide these these with this and it's 200 and we could do more thing like something like uh, we will divide so we will divide both side with minus 20 so we have minus here so the minus 20 would cancel with this and the minus would cancel with this one and 20 with this and we have here 10 and 10 and our final answer is something like a fourth f equals to so this 10 we have 10 here at times when 10 squared is 100 100 and uh, our final answer is our frictional force is equal to 1000 newton force and that's it for this example gravity force or gravitational force the force of a gravity is is the force with which the earth moon and other massively large objects attracts another object toward itself by definition this is the the weight of an object all objects upon the earth experience a force of gravity that is direct directed like a downward downward towards the center of the earth the force of gravity on the earth is always equal to the weight of an object uh, as as found by this equation so in this video we're gonna talk go through some examples for gravity so suppose we have two blocks here they are on the ground and they have a contact with the floor and one is a uh, one is a uh, with 50 kilogram mass and one other one is with 40 kilogram mass and we have to find that that uh, how much gravitation gravity force is acting on these two objects and the f distance between these two objects are Oh, 150 centimeters so we have to convert that all as well for the two meters so four meters would be 1.5 meters so so for this uh, example we have a formula 
like the formula is uh, gravitational force equals to g times g times mass one times mass two and divide by the distance between them squared. So the g is a universal gravitational constant. It's a uh, something like uh, it's a uh, 6.67 times 11 to the minus uh, 11 to the power of minus 11 and that's the constant for univer uh, universal gravitational and we have to and everything we have we have to put that all in the formula so the g is 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 and the the unit for this is Newton Newton times Newton times meter squared divided by kilogram squared and now times the first mass is 50 kilograms times the second mass 40 kilogram and divide by the radius divide by the distance between them is is the what 1.5 meter meters squared so now we will we get uh, like a we could cancel these kilograms with this kilogram square and more so and more we could uh, let's do this here so 6.6 .6 times 10 to the Newton mm, meters so this has been cancelled out and now we will uh, multiply these two 50 times it's 2000 and now uh, and, uh, and now we will multiply the well, now we will square root that so one point is a uh, 2.25 meters squared we can cancel these two out and now we just just got the newton and i hope we have to plus some okay so now we will multiply all these things so when we multiply all these things together there's nothing left so when we multiply and divide that we get the gravitational force 5.93 times 10 to the 10 to the power of minus 8 so this is the gravitation the gravity force acting on these two objects uh, 